thing. When you're an adult, you will probably kill somebody if you're walking back home from a night out, tired, just wanting to go, you know, watch some Netflix and chill, or just go on social media and, and kind of peruse your feed. You grab a little McDonald's on the way home, you, you listen to some music, you're walking home, mind your own business, and some guy, some girl, some kid, whatever, right, comes beside you and just knocks your food out of your hand and kicks it. Like, just splashes it all over the place. You would honestly maybe kill someone. But when you're in school, it's so fucking funny. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because we're all generally poor. We don't have enough money. And that it's just the ridiculousness of it that we're all having to buy this, like, shitty processed food just because it's cheap and because we want to not be starving. And then your friend kicking it out of your hand, right? Like, just spraying it all over the floor. There's something just hilariously, like, ob- like just ridiculous about it, right? So that used to happen because it's a wonderful thing that used to happen with your hat. Somebody gets snatched off your head and someone put in their head and run around. So not only was it getting teased, someone snatching your hat off your head, the other bit of the tease came when that person was running, they put it on their head and they started screaming. And why were they screaming? They were screaming because the hat was covering their eyes. It was that big. It was dripping all over the side of it. So that was one of the kind of, you know, tiny insecurities I used to have when I was a child. Like, my head was just so big. Now I don't give a fucking flying fuck, but obviously I, I like to grow my hair. But back then I would, I'd make sure I never had um, a low, like I never had a low amount of hair on the top of my head because I didn't want my head to be showing pointy. I also didn't want the fucking brain thing to go there. I say all this to say that also I remember one of the things that people used to kind of point at me and say was a bad thing when I was younger, which I kind of understand that maybe it was one of my strengths, was that I always had a tendency to always kind of like um, sympathize with the other side, right? When the argument came um, to my, uh, across my table or came to my attention from a friend or whoever it may be, I would always um, try and understand the rationale behind the other person's way of thinking, right? Because, you know, sometimes too often, more often than not, right? Human beings are fucking selfish, isn't it? Self-centered. We only care about I, we don't care about anyone else. People are just so absorbed with their, their whatever issue they're going through, which is why sometimes I really understand when people say um, eyewitness accounts, right? It's been said a lot that eyewitness accounts in crimes and stuff are probably one of the most unreliable things that you can glean in terms of gleaning um, what happened in the situation, right? Usually it's really good detective work or police work that kind of like solves issues, right? When they're able to piece things together from, you know, different areas, like fragments of information and be able to kind of weave it into a narrative. But just hoping that one person's going to be able to tell you play by play what happened as they remembered it is really impossible, even if it happened right in front of them because, you know, your own emotions play into it, how you view things play into it, blah, 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 blah. But I would always kind of try and anticipate, I would always try and think about it from the other point, person's point of view because usually the person that's telling you the issue, the one that's complaining or crying about it, you know, it's coming from their own POV, right? They And, and you know, um, as, you know, it's normal, it makes sense for them not to think about the other person, right? Because they've been wrong, right? This He or she said this about me, right? I don't think this is fair, right? It's coming from your POV, which is fine. It's cool. You, know, you should be thinking like that. But me personally, I like to always kind of think of it on the other side, sympathize with the other side, think, you know what, what was running through their head when they were go- when they decided to be like this to you? Why did they decide to do that? What actions, what did you do to make them say the things that they did? Or where are they coming from in their POV? And I think the more that I've kind of realized that, the more that I've kind of understood those kind of things, I've started to understand a lot of things when you get older. And one thing I've understood a lot, the whole like you know new new year's resolution thing that I'm, I'm still kind of fighting with my own head kind of like trying to figure out myself um goals how i did that in the past and just generally but just generally trying to figure out like what it is about some people that just don't want to do jack shit and then when you realize when you get older is that sometimes you realize that identifying what your issue is um being honest about your failings that got you to the position that you're in now understanding that it's only you that's going to be able to change the position that you're in now it takes a lot of humility and it's fucking brutal it hurts so much, right? It's just too much work for the regular person that doesn't want to be that introspective, right? Because it's already hard enough having to navigate through life as it is, right? Trying to earn an honest living, right? Trying to um, increase or, you know, expand your friendship circle, trying to find love, trying to find a job that's meaningful, reconnecting with old friends, uh, you know, um, working in a relationship with your parents, whatever it may be. Life is already hard as it is, right? without having to be brutally honest with yourself, introspective, and really confess to your shortcomings and your mistakes. It's just too much work, man. It's just too hard. It's just too hard. People struggle enough. I struggle enough as it is, right? Maintaining um, a committed um, and diligent meditation practice, right? I might do two days in a row, then stop three or four days, and then come back on it again. I find it hard enough to do that on an app that only takes 10 minutes a day, right? You're telling me I can't find 10 minutes in my day to meditate. Of course I can. We can all do that. You tell me you can't find an extra 20 minutes to read something. 
You tell me you can't find half an hour to do a bit of drawing. We all have that time. But it's just so brutally hard for you to kind of do that. Because once you do it and you start to realise how good it feels, you start to realise how far behind you are, you start to realise how much work needs to be done, the realisation comes in later, just right after that thought of like, fuck, it was all me in the end. It was all me. As bad as it was, as bad as that person did me wrong, as bad as that, as that corporation didn't give me a chance, as horrible as my parents were, once you start doing the work, you quickly realise that, fuck, oh, I could have been doing this much earlier, I could have started much earlier, and it just that feeling is just something that you can't describe how bad it feels sometimes for someone that doesn't want to do stuff. So that's why I realise when I get older, it's like, you know what, as important as it might be for me, all these goals thing and reaching your dreams and trying to do stuff, you know, and trying to expand your horizons and trying to fulfill your potential and making sure I don't go to the grave with um, un- uh, what you call it, um, uh, unfulfilled potential. Or I don't go to my grave without trying to do the best thing that I can do without trying to exercise my gifts or my skills, blah, 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 whatever all that self-congratulatory pat on your back stuff is, is. For the general every average day everyday person, they don't want to do go through that, man. They they just want to be able to live a good, honest life, right? Get by how they get by and just continue on. That's it. People just don't want stress, man. And I I just think that stuff is just too much stress, unfortunately, for the most part.